know exactly what you're doing. Yeah, there's not going to really be any surprises. Um, so it's just a matter of, you know, sticking Torture to your team. guns oh. and knowing that your best is is what you need to beat him. Like you have to actually outplay him. You can't just get by with the surprise mm -hmm. there. And that uh, was actually that reminded me a lot of the last Evo tournament. Yeah, it did. Me too. That was a little too close for comfort, wasn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> uh, yeah, you never you never want a three two. <laughs> it's like like you'd much rather have a three zero. Oh. 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 I just oh. <sighs> what awaits the loser? Uh, so yeah, we, we lost uh, some power we lost back here. We'll, power. See, we'll see how we're actually doing here. Seems Let's like it see. wasn't actually that bad of a disconnect. Holy crap! That was pretty yeah, good. Maybe it was. Maybe I'm talking about the void. I hope I'm not. But I can't see the match yet. But hopefully you guys can. Yep. Um, yeah, oh, cool. here we go. It's back up. looks like we're pretty back. Pause. They're, they're pausing on the, the far side, okay. it looks like, just to keep it awesome. going. Awesome. Yeah, we're actually looking like we're in pretty good shape. All right, we're good. We had a wire kick. That was kick. scary. Yeah. <laughs> You never, you never like to see a wire kick. Well, also in the Bay Area, you never know if it's a true power outage or a right. wire kick. Right, I thought kick. it was a power outage. I was like, no. So it's raining in California. Yeah. This never happens. Therefore, when it rains, the power typically goes out. But yeah. luckily, San Jose is pretty good about keeping the power on, especially here at the convention center. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure the convention center has great generators, so. They better. Yeah. All right, looks like they're probably getting into it now. All right, wow. let's see Ready? what happens. Wow. Drew Chuck has been developing quite well. Uh, I would say logically, Pen Ninja is probably the favorite here, just historically. But Drew Chuck has made some big go. upsets lately. And wow, that is such an aggressive play style. He's going so deep for it. Uh, maybe too deep. Yeah, uh, I think too deep. But you know, he's still got ways he's, out. He's got a block, so he can keep that in his he's pocket. Just going oh wow, he's oh. trying to pull him over. Oh, here we go. So <laughs> he played he, a little bridge. He used bridge his own bait against him. Mm -hmm. Good job, Pen Ninja. Yeah, really we like to see uh, Drewchuck just give up on that, going to the background. There are plenty of solves. Um, I would say that historically, building has been Drewchuck's biggest Achilles, but he has recently uh, mitigated that with a lot of story mode. So, mm -hmm. absolutely, that was a really nice uh, dive kick combo. I like the one-two. Uh, a lot of people get too scared to do the second dive kick because pushing out is a, a real reversal in this game. But uh, Pen Ninja said, you know, I want to prove it this early. Uh, I want to make sure that he's actually willing to push that, and then, uh, he wasn't. So, that's a kill. And good on him for doing that. Uh -huh. That actually combos in this game, too. So the only actual counter to break a dive kick combo is to actually push the block that they're diving from. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Let's see where they take it this time. This is going to be a good match. Chuchuk could take him to NorCal Torture. He could go, that's the only one that really stands clock out tower. to me. Oh, clock oh, you're right. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good call. Good call. So Drew Chuck loves chaos. That's true. <laughs> so if there's anything that he wants to mess up, it's going to be a Catherine stage. And, and we're and seeing here chaos. We go. Uh, both stages oh, are going to completely fall out. He, but Drew got the pin, but what can he do with oh. it? He, it? The stage did it for him. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that was a little nuts, especially with all these crack blocks and the bombs going off, too. You'd never know who's going to break first. Yeah, so the bombs will turn regular blocks into cracks and cracks into nothing. And in that case, he was pinned on a nothing and a bomb blew up. So. The stage handled it for him. Oh, good pin by oh. pin. But can he actually finish it? Another oh, here we go. Except, okay, good. They're not on a crack block, so whatever yeah, happens, blue sheep wins. Now, if Pendinja had happened to be in altered state there, it would have been a draw. That's a very, very weird nuance that uh, only shows up on Clock Tower after a scramble like that. Yes. All right, let's see if they're gonna mirror. They're yeah, Druchak kept opening. going for the one beer, Bobby, but now he's taking it to something a little more reserved. Uh, he does take the risk to get the, the turret in place. It's unpushable block is going to cause a lot of problems for Pen Ninja if Drew guards it correctly. And it doesn't look like he's actually going to guard it. Yeah, he's he's kind of walking away from it. Oh. And he was in all state. Go. He might not Did have realized that. Oh, he almost oh. killed himself. Not quite. <laughs> that was a big push by Pen Ninja. Breathe, buddy. And now Drew Chuck has to make up a lot of ground. Yeah, he does. Hopefully, he'll get some item farming along the way. Yeah, he's pushing some stuff around a little bit. Just too late for that. Uh, but you know, you have plenty of time in this oh. stage. Uh, this is about to get really fragile, which might actually put Pen Ninja in a very bad choice. Yeah, they're at the same level now. So even though he was so far up there, since they are at the same level. Oh, this is oh. dangerous. Oh, this is dangerous. Oh, I my didn't get deep enough and he didn't abandon either. Oh, he just got analysis paralysis there. Looking at both choices that both would have been good and chose neither. Oh, it's brutal. He knows it. Yeah, he does. He definitely totally knows it. it. He had it, and that's why he's smirking. He figured it out, but couldn't quite right, pull it through. Right. Yeah, that's that's rough. I mean, 
you know when you could have had it. It's just like that moment with the most mental friction is everything. Because, uh, you know, Pin what actually really spanned it over there. There was like not a lot of places he could go. Uh, so had but he Drew did have abandoned that block it. in his pocket. Uh, yeah, but he ended up using it forward. So after he used it forward, if Drew had abandoned and gone to the left, he could have made a lot of things happen there. Yeah. Round one. Looks like Drew's Ready? going straight back to it. He likes his clock tower. Oh, yeah. He wants to represent our uh, one and only Bobby Siege, the ghost of Catherine. He is indeed doing the one beer Bobby opening, but Penn with a great counter to it. He knows what's going on here. here but Drew go. with the backup plan. He's back in again, and Penn's actually kind of stressed here. It really doesn't... So the bomb's going to... Oh. Yeah, and it was worse for Drew than Penn, good. and I think Penn understood that. It was sketchy, but uh, was Drew had to get underneath. He had to carve out that base. It was really, really good patience by Penn Ninja. Yeah. It's really, really hard for, for them to do that. Yeah, you, you definitely don't want to panic there. Especially in this stage. This stage, this it, it's so stressful that it's hard to just sit there and do nothing. Oh, 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 big oh. moves. Oh. They're going so deep. These are crazy matches. Oh, oh but Drew Chuck dies just first, and that's a just. quick three from Penn Ninja. Ooh. That was a very quick three. Are you they excited to play Pen Ninja? Uh, yes. Is that happening right now? Uh, I don't know if I it's, happening it's happening right this second. Right. Because I think Toph has to play Drew Chuck. Oh, okay. You might be right. Uh, yeah. Let's make sure they know that. Uh, we'll find out in a minute if they do. Yeah. But you know what? Shout out to all these people out here watching. Yeah, it's, that's a lot of people. That is a lot of people. Uh, and you know what? A lot of them weren't even in the Catherine tournament. It's true. Yeah, uh, it is 100% true. They just saw their childhood game and sat down and said, wow, this is competitive. Yeah, this this game gets a lot of foot traffic because people are like often, uh, they, they, they frequently look and, and say, I know this game, but I had no idea how to competitive mode. Exactly. Uh, well, not a lot of people finish story mode. That's true. Yeah. So you have to finish story mode to unlock the competitive mode. So yeah, uh, it's it's uh, honestly one of the biggest problems that Catherine faces just unlocking save data for tournaments if we're using like new PS3s. Uh, but you know you can download the file; it's not that bad. That's true. But yeah, we're coming up on the, the some of the final matches of the day. Uh, we're looking at me and Pen Ninja in winners finals of the tournament. Uh, there is Toph and Andrew Chuck. Drew Chuck in the loser's side. Um, who else is still in Moogle Parade? Sketches. I think they're both. Hanging on. Yep, maybe, they're maybe still they in it. So played. maybe think. I think that they uh, play next, and then yeah. I think from there it will be Drew Chuck and Toph. Yeah, we'll have to see what all we're playing on stream. We're coming like just to the end of the block here, so we're gonna have to, you know, we're gonna have to wrap it up a little oh, bit. Oh, you know what? Moogle and Sketch has played off stream. Yeah, they did. Okay. Do you know the results? I do not. Okay. Should have found that out. This will be see. fun. Let's see if they find. I feel like Toph is the ghost here. Okay, I think it's me and Pen Ninja because we don't know where Toph is. Okay, so perfect. So we're going to go. Uh, I'll probably commentate a little bit. We'll find another commentator. Okay. He's going to use the restroom real quick. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna get something going pretty quick. We can hold it down. I'm just going to trust you alone. I'm going to figure out what's going on. Okay, cool. perfect. So something really fun. Um, a lot of the Catherine players are a little bit of ghosts here because we have been here since 10 a.m. Um, so a little bit of moving around. I don't think much people have eaten yet. So we're going to find people on the way over. Um, but some interesting background about Catherine. Um, one of the first ever Catherine. Uh, it wasn't really a tournament. So Ghoul is a speedrunner of Catherine in the mode Babel. And he found out that Dacid Bro um, really likes to play competitively and didn't really ever play competitively in any tournaments. And he knew that Dacid Bro was going to a tournament, money matched him. I'm going to airdrop you an update real quick. It is going to be me and Pen Ninja next. Okay. Uh, I'll find another commentator for you. Thank you. Oh, perfect. We're going to take a break, um, and we will be back just as soon as they are ready to play their match. 